on now. Hi, this is Max. I'm not here. Leave a message and I might call back. Hi, Max, it's me again. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry for accusing you. Um, and it, it's fine if, if, you know, you don't want to come home right now, but just please give me a ring. Um, we need to sort this out sooner or later. OK, lots of love. And I mean that. Bye. He's still not answering. No, it's the fourth time I've called this morning. Well, he's probably just trying to punish you. I know, but he's never stayed at Marion's overnight before. Anyway, how's Harry? Yeah, he's good. He's playing happily. It's Lily that it's affected the most. She was really upset when I took her to school. <sighs> what a mess. I'm going to go and see Adam later and just see where we stand. Have you seen David later? Yeah. You're going to have to tell him, aren't you? Yeah, and what a barrel of laughs that's going to be. <sighs> One minute is sweet, next salty. And it's sour! You got any lemons? Uh, sherbet lemons, lemon drops, actual lemons, no. <sighs> I can't remember the last time that I had an appetite for you. <sighs> <sighs> this your cravings? Yeah, my entire body's been gesumped. Thank God you're not craving for soap. What? Well, that's what some women hanker after, apparently. Soap? Yeah, uh, coal's another, stone, clay. You winding me up? No, I read about it once. Uh, something to do with um, mineral deficiencies. And they actually eat it? No, or suck. Mm. It's curry powder on your cornflakes seem normal. <laughs> well, it won't be long now, will it? Thank God. Oh, Gemma, poor you. I know, and I'll eat all this and then I'll chuck half of it up. But, no, I mean you being all over social media. What do you mean? Oh, you haven't seen it? <clears throat> Uh, print media as well now. Look at it. Oh, great! Mm, excuse me, miss, but I think you might need this. Right, yeah. Friday is gym day, yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Because I'm always here to talk, okay? If there's anything ever wrong, you just come to me. Dad, I'll just get off my case, will you? Sorry. I know you're trying to help, but I've agreed to go to counselling like you wanted. I don't need it off you as well. Ah! Oh, hiya. You're back. Oh, Dad, it was great. After we ditched all those museums you had lined up for us. Oh. Peter and his lot, they've stayed on the lucky so-and-sos. Good flight. No, I had some kid kick the back of my seat the whole time. A baby in front screamed the entire flight, and a ten-ton slob at the side of me kept falling asleep on my shoulder. Well, if I could put that in perspective. Oh. Anyway, sorry I didn't make it. You know, she made be the way she is. How was Italy? Yeah, it was all right. Listen, babe, I am so sorry about Sinead. Thanks. If there's anything me and Steve can do, you only need to ask. I'm not sure there is, really. We're spending as much time as we can with her. It's hard, cos she gets tired easy. Yeah. Well, you know where we are if you change your mind. Thanks, Trace. Yeah, cheers. How's Daniel? Could be his head above water. Just. No! You listen to me, Suki. You and your stupid Aya magazine said that me and my babies were not a story until they were born. So what's changed then, yeah? Oh, no, I'll tell you what's changed. I'm in the Gazette and you are scared of missing out where you can get stuffed now. What did she want? Piece of the action, that's what. Oh, no. Her again! And Alia said that I'm all over social media. Really? Is this what it's going to be like, people hounding me and asking me stupid questions? Well, you wanted publicity. Not like this. They'll be knocking on the door next. See? What did I tell you? Don't answer it. Well, if there's money to be made... It's too embarrassing. I don't care. Hey, you are online. Look. Oh. We're under siege. It'll blow over. No, it won't, Chess. Forever people are going to see me in the street and they're going to say, look, it's her what got knocked up and locked up. Right, just let me clear it Don't let him in! Just do what we... Oh. Uh, cheers, yeah, that's fine. 
Thanks. Hey. Box of nappies from a well-wisher. They saw your picture in the Gazette. That's more like it. Sleep well? What a book is like. We're busy. Very. Another hard day's grind. More cash into someone's pocket, but not ours. But hey ho. Where do you want me to start? So you don't want to hear my news then? There's nothing more tiresome than a cryptic comment. Please, Jeff. Well, if you've got something to say, speak it out. I've spoken to Zidane, who's moving in with his girlfriend and buying a house. So he's agreed to sell his half of this place. Two? Us, of course. Us, not just you. Yes. It's what you wanted, isn't it? You're making it sound like it's not what you wanted. I thought we both did. And you mean that? I beg you to be happy, if you like. That is wonderful news. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank goodness. I'm just checking. We're singing from the same hymn sheet. I'm not in the habit of singing. <laughs> I'm not going to fall out again, are we? Come on. So the trick when cutting a size is to avoid snipping the customer's ears. Unless he's um, done something to upset you. <laughs> All right. See how David folds the ear back with a finger and cuts down from the top? That's good. Yeah, should do this for a living, shouldn't I? Okay, let's split into our groups now. David's in that corner. He can go and cut in Greg's hair, my group here, and I'm going to need a volunteer. Yeah, all because of the bit more fighting than normal. It's just unfair, isn't it? I mean, what's a few broken bones between friends, eh? <laughs> There's a bad fight in there, though, seriously. So, uh, I'll do that 15 minutes. Yeah. It's not going to come to our own. Do you want a bit? Do you mind? Do you want a bit? Will I disturb you if I do my makeup? Uh, no, no, it's fine. A bit more light here than in the bedroom. What are you writing? Uh, just a short story. I need it for the application for the writing course. Oh, what's it about? A uh, young girl lives in New York, works in an advertising agency. Oh, and lots of hunky men falling for her, I expect. <laughs> Still trying to figure that part out. <laughs> you know, I always wondered why they call them short stories. You never have long stories, do you? <laughs> Though, I hear plenty working in the pub, especially when people have had a few. Still, all in a day's work, eh? Oh, must be hard getting that first sentence down. It is, actually. Oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? No, no, sorry. I'm just tired, that's all. I'm worried about little Harry. Uh, no, he's fine, actually. Thank you. <laughs> Good. More than can be said for Sinead. Yeah. I wonder how Daniel's bearing up. <sighs> yeah, me too. No, that'd be great. Um, just let me grab a pen. It's feeding bottles and sterilising stuff. Mm -hmm. There must be hundreds of quids with the stuff here. Oh, cos that stupid photo. Uh, less of the stupid. Right, that's fantastic. See you soon. Cheers, look at all these feeding bottles and sterilising stuff. And that were a baby shop in Bolton, offering us four eye chairs, brand new. I'm gonna go pick them up. Well, maybe we should call that Suke. Why? Well, more publicity, more stuff you'll get. I don't trust her. Oh, me. I mean, why is she only interested now? Well, I'll tell you what, if they keep sending us stuff, we might have to flog it. We can't sell stuff that's given us charity. She might be right, though, if we don't need it and we don't know where it's come from. Right, whatever. I'm off anyway. Don't be long. Suki again. Right, I'm going bog. If she rings, do not answer it. Oh, my God, to see you. You all right? Yeah. Oh, thanks for sorting the wedding, by the way. <laughs> it was nothing. No, it's brilliant. Kids, okay? Do you 
feel anything. In here, I mean. Sorry to go off at any minute. You didn't seem any edgier than normal. Oh, everyone's fed up. It's overcrowded, food's lousy, it's not enough free time. I see. There's a lot more being shipped in this after, it's even more crowded. You sure you're all right? What's he been doing? I thought he calmed down. Uh, yeah, well, he hadn't. You said he had? I know, I know, but I didn't know how to tell you, and plus he begged me not to. And what's he been doing? Bunking off school, answering back whenever I talk to him, you name it. So he's still going on? He, um... He stayed at his grand's last night. I thought you were in Thailand. Not that grand. You don't mean... I have no idea when he's coming home. How did you do it, Brian? Got a special squeegee that gets into the corners. No, man, I mean, be a teacher like all these years. Ah. Uh. Patience you need, the understanding you need. Knowing when to be firm and when to give way. Yeah, well, I just can't seem to make it right, you know, especially with my daughter. You and every other parent on the planet. So what do I do? Who am I to dish out advice? As good as anyone else. <laughs> I would guess deep down she knows that um, you love her and want the best for her. However irritating she finds you, and when her hormones have settled down, well, it'll all fall into place. As simple as that? No. But look forward to a time when she has teenagers of her own and she asks how you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe a word of it, but thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey. Hi. How's the writing? Oh. Uh, <laughs> wondering how Sinead's getting on. Yeah, have you heard anything else? I spoke to um, Adam and he said that Daniel said it's getting really tough now. It's so sad. Mm. Anyway, um, when's your deadline for your writing thing? Next week. Mm. What are you finding it tough? I've just hit a brick wall. What are you writing about? A uh, young girl in New York works in an advertising agency. Ah, so drawn from your own experience then. Mm. <laughs> do you think that might be why you're finding it a bit tricky? What do you think? Uh, pardon me for being nosy, but... Um, when you're starting out, it's best to write about what you know, I mean, if you've never been to New York. Or well, worked in an advertising agency. That article you wrote was special because it was, um, well, it was real and had emotion. Yeah. Why don't you try and write something a bit more personal that you're burning to write about? Maybe. Yeah, just give it a think. Right, see you later. So that's your bed nice and clean. Thanks, Jessica. And your meds are all in order by the side. Right. Is there anything else I can do for you? Er, uh, no, I don't think so. Hi! Nice cup of tea? Er, uh, I'm all right, thanks. It's no bother? No, it's fine, honestly. I'll be back tonight, then. All right, thank you. I'll see myself out. Oh. See ya. Bye. Bye. Nice woman? Yeah. I couldn't do her job. No. Although you could make a decent cuppa. Why can't she? I feel awful saying it because she's so lovely, but it's like washing up water. Oh, no. She keeps asking me and I keep saying no. I don't know what she must think of me. Well, she does do the important stuff. Yeah. She's a godsend. What's up, babe? It should be me making tea. Me changing the bed in. They'd be daft. I can't do the simplest things. It's just getting harder and harder every day. Oh, it will do. You're working miracles, really. I don't feel like it. Try not to dwell on it, babe.
No, no. I noticed she didn't make me a cup of tea. Selfish cow. <clears throat> could you drink one? I could murder one. Coming up, my lady. I was a lousy mother to Clayton. I'm not fit to be Max's. You're not the reason Clayton turned out the way he did. Yes, well, the fact is, Max still can't bear to look at me, can he? Max is acting like he is because of me. Because I'm in here. It's got nothing to do with you. If I'd have just been, you know, there for him more, at home, looking after him. And the fault's still mine. I shouldn't have gone out. But we thought it was OK, didn't we? And anyway, when you went out, he wasn't even at home. Why shouldn't you go out? You get it every single day, showing up. It's constant. It's not a better mother he needs, it's a better dad. Yeah, well, whoever's to blame, the question is, what do we do next? Well, I'll be getting out of here in three weeks, all right? And Marion's not going to get custody in that time. And I'll just work really hard to try and bring him home again. Do you really think we can get through this? Well, together, yeah. I know we can. That's going to need a holiday when this is over. It's a pity Sinead's not up to something like that. No way. Do you think... Would she enjoy a family gathering? Well, the one for Bertie and Ken's birthday ended in tears. And then we had a picnic and she threw up. She's not even got Christmas to look forward to. It's Bertie's first and all, isn't it? Yeah. That would have been so nice for her. Would have been brilliant. Did you see that photograph of Gemma? I was the one who had to show it to her. Oh, the poor girl. Everyone talking about her. Gave me an idea, actually. You know I'm teaching Abby English. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a scene in Othello where Iago talks about losing your reputation. I thought I might try it on her. Othello, the bar game? No, no, the, the play by Shakespeare. Good name in man and woman, dear my lord, is the immediate jewel of our souls. Who steals my purse steals trash. But tis something, nothing. Twas mine, tis his, and has been slave to thousands. But he that filches from me my good name robs me of that which not enriches him and makes me poor indeed. Well, it can't have been a very nice purse if it was trash. And there's some lovely ones down the precinct. Not expensive either. Oh, yes, love. Oh, thank you. Hello? I'm going to have to change my number. I don't want to wait, I've been doorknobbed, you know. I think you mean door stepped. Whatever. Yeah, well, we need to make the most of this, though, while you're hot. We are doing. What you keep looking at your phone for? No reason. You all right? Yeah, that, I'm fine. Gemma Winter. Who wants to know? I'm Rosa Vale. I work in PR. How'd you find me? Well, asked around. You're getting a lot of press attention at the moment. So? So, I can help you make a lot of money without being pestered quite so much. Are you going to do that? Is there somewhere else we can go? I fancy something a bit more than crisps. Uh, it's on me, of course. We could go to the bistro. Lead the way. You miss is OK? What? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. She didn't look it. I've just been having trouble with my lad, that's all. Because you're in here. What else? I said, move it. Go it. I'm okay. It's getting tasty. I'm new in Mason, here. Don't know. It's overcrowded as it is in here. Right. I'm off. I need to go get me meds. What? What's that for? Epilepsy. No kidding. Yeah, you know all my secrets now. Yeah, well, we've all got thumbs in. What? Something. I'm, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> right. No medication for that, though, is it? No, you don't know how lucky you are, mate. <laughs> um, will it be OK? At home? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fine. Shown us a diamond. She's, uh, she got me through some bad times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really bad, actually. Didn't think I'd get over it, but... 
What's that, then? You understand if I told you. Next time. That's me. I've been thinking. I thought you might have been. There's a few changes we could make in here. Let me talk to Alia first. Why? Because she still owns half the restaurant. But don't you think it's an opportunity? I do, indeed. I've got lots of ideas. I would like to move forward as quickly as you. But... So let's get cracking. Or we could turn this place into a gold mine. We can't just ignore... Well, you've made a damn good job of it so far. I've just been on the phone to Z. Yes, I, I was going to tell you. What's happened to you, Gran? So it wasn't too bad. Yeah, well, I thought it was going to go off from one at first, but once he calmed down, he actually blamed himself. Oh, well, he's right. You are doing all you can. Yeah, it's still pretty amazing of him, though. Hey, we even spoke about Clayton. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how I can't let that experience affect the way I deal with Max. Have you heard anything from him? What about Marion? No, not a dicky bird. <sighs> Gosh, I just hope she's not going to cause any trouble. <sighs> Still, David will be back soon. Yeah, and then all this will go away with any luck. Hmm. As long as he doesn't mess up his release. <laughs> oh, I can't see that happening, not now. <sighs> I've just come from my meds. Just need a trip, just need to someone else. Mm. Oh, serious? Could have been worse. One of the new inmates. Mm. Is that an accident or...? What do you think? That meant to take long, didn't it? Shut it, eh? Share a soul with a nutcase. Right. I mean, we should keep prison safe. Nearly had my eye out. Calm down and let me check you over. Right. Look up. Down. Okay, your right eye's fine. Thank God. You've been here five minutes and you've already been in the fight. I've been started. I'll be back in a minute. Come near me again, I'll kill you. Aye, aye, aye. I'll be back for you, big boy. Take your pills and go. You heard. Back to the wing. So, anytime someone asks for an interview, you just refer them to me. I separate the quality from the rubbish and I organise it, if it's worth doing. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. Go on. I get you better money, any misrepresentation, and I sue. Sounds great. You're not doing this for now, though, are you? Well, I'll take a 15% commission on anything that I handle. 15%? It's a standard industry rate. Oh, hang on. Right, you're not the only one who can set up interviews. This is Sue Kate from Aya Magazine. Oh, I knew you were up to summer. She wants to interview you. <sighs> Suki Waters. Um, Waters, yeah. Reprimanded by press standards last month for journalistic conduct bordering on harassment. Really? See, so leave it to the pros, ma'am. I'm looking at more upmarket publications than Aya Magazine. And television, of course. Television? I'm in talks with loose women about you. Stacey Sullivan! Well, they kill for a story like this. If we play our cards right, we could get a TV deal to film the births. They could come back every few years to see how the children are growing up. Their entire lives would be immortalised. That'd be awesome! So, 
Do we have a deal? <laughs> well, if it's the fifteen percent you worried about. No, it's it's not it's not that. Well, what then? I think I'm going in labour. You missed a fight? Did I? Yeah, Psycho Tez took a pop at one of the new lads. You know, he's got to share a cell with only the other lads. Just a big old nut on his Tez. Goes crazy, mate. <laughs> yeah, I just saw them both in the medical centre then. Josh told the nurse that Tez attacked him for no reason. Tez said he's a rapist. That's why he's in here. Josh? You made it sound like you know him? No, the nurse said his name. All right. Anyway, my money's on Tez for the rematch. <sighs> Shouldn't be putting rapists in here with us. No. It's totally screwed, man. The whole place is like a pressure cooker. Well, it's locking up for the rest of his life. Yeah. Yeah, great. Great. Yeah. I agree. Great. I've got some ideas for this place. I mean me and my gran alone. But Jeff's going to be a partner. I know it's all agreed. But as my gran, I want to talk to you about who's running this family business. Do you want me to leave? Yeah. No. I don't really know what your problem is. My problem is you going behind my back. I ran this idea past the Dan because it's his share we want to buy. I'd already said no. You said no to Jeff buying a share in this business, not to me. That doesn't seem fair. If Zidane wants to sell us his share so that he and his girlfriend can buy a house together, that, that's his choice. Besides, it's Jeff and me who are putting all the hours in. Is that a dig at me? No, it's recognising Jeff's contribution. Well, then give him a bonus. I want him to be an official part of Speed Dull. And whose idea was it? It's something both of us want. And is he putting any money up? Or are you the one getting the checkbook out? Hey, 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 hang on. I I'm not a scrounger. As Yasmin just said, I am contributing. Look, this is also about making something for us. Nothing changes the fact that you are the boss. It will all end in tears, Gran. I bet you train harder than me some days. Oh, I have got to work 10k for the retired police dogs. It's just a bit of fun, but I want to make sure I smash it. If you ever need a buddy to come out with you at any time. Would you? Yeah, we're always being told we should be fitter and we should do more. <sighs> Give over. <laughs> we are. I can help you out with a fitness programme as well, if you like. Yeah, nice one. <sighs> Hi. Hi. How's your need today? Uh, a bit better than yesterday. I've had an idea. What? It's just, we know she won't make it to Christmas. Yeah, I know that, Kiki. So why don't me and you and the rest of the family make Christmas happen early while she is here? To affect Christmas? If we all get together, buy presents and wrap them, cook a Christmas dinner, sing some carols. It's a mad idea. No, it's a lovely idea. But remember last year? And Bertie's birthday surprise didn't exactly go to plan. I know, but I'd still like to give it a go. She's just had awful news. There's nothing else that can be thrown at her. She's had the worst she can get. Mm. Yeah. Hello. Hi, how's Harry? Yeah, he's still fine. Oh, well, keep me posted, won't you? Yeah. Oh, now you're uh, armed with your own body weight and snacks, you can carry on with your story. Yeah, thanks for the advice. Um, I know what I'm doing now. See ya. Hi, I need to talk to you. Oh, yeah? Business or pleasure? Oh, oh it's always pleasure, but now I need to ask you some legal advice. Um, I thought you'd be with Daniel and Sinead today. I've just one more client to see, then I'm free. This poor grandmother who reckons her grandkids are being turned into the Manchester equivalent of the Mansons. They sound pretty rough. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Adam. Marion. Hello, Sarah. Is she your client? 
You two know each other? This is Max and Harry's gran, Callum's mum. So, you've played table tennis with an arm rubber. You're getting well with it. You're starting to do my head in now. But this one bloke... ...makes you go all jumpy. It's changed subject. Is this the, um, the dark thing you said you barely got you through? I don't want to talk about it. My sister got attacked by this bloke a few years ago. I know what it does. Look, just leave it, all right? Look, Tez might have got it wrong, all right? He's not exactly a mastermind, is he? I mean, how does he know what Josh is inside for? He must have found out from someone. Yeah, but I need to know for sure. Has Josh definitely raped someone? Tez thinks so. Yeah, but I need details. I need facts. Why? You don't need to know. I'll do some digging. You can't be in labour. The cesarean's not booked for another month. I think Mother Nature might have other ideas. I've been sent to scrounge some ten peas. I've tried everywhere else. I'll have a look. <laughs> oh, are you all right? Mm. She's just having a few twinges. But it's too early. Really? Oh, my goodness. Well, good luck. I'll keep everything crossed. You need more time. One of them's smaller than the others. He needs time to grow. Can I film this? Why? Because I might be able to sell the footage. If I'm going to do the PR, I need to follow every stage of the journey. But Gemma can't be worried about PR. She needs an ambulance. Waiter! It'll take too long. I've got my car outside. Car! 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 Right, I'll phone Chesney and I'll tell him to meet us there. This shouldn't be happening! Oh, you'll be fine. All five of you, I'll be fine. She's taken Max away from Shona. She's threatening to do the same with Harry. Max got in touch with me. So, hang on. The dangerous, unstable stepmom you're talking about is Shona. Uh-huh. And the other unstable mum is Sarah, my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Everything I told you is true. You, you can't represent her. I'm sorry, but there's clearly a conflict of interest here. I'm the only one who gives a damn about these kids. You don't even know these kids. I don't know how you can stand there criticising my parenting. Everybody you stay calm, yeah? I'll find another solicitor. You've already pointed me in the right direction. I need to apply for a, a child arrangement order because mediation won't work with this family. Thank you. Oh, Adam, brilliant. Well done. You've just handed her legal advice on a plate. Great. Wait till I tell Shona. Oh, you idiot. How was I to know? Well, well, well. Is it OK? There's a few spelling mistakes, so make sure you change those before you send it in. If I even send it in. You have to. It's great. Really? You write so well, I'm sure it'll get you onto the course. Oh, thank you. <laughs> One thing, though. The young female character who's in love with a man whose wife is dying, it's a bit close to the truth. But what do you mean? No, I made all that up. Why are you even saying that? It's a bit of a coincidence. Samuel, Daniel. But, hey, you've got to get your inspiration from somewhere. No, it's not about me and Daniel. Take it from someone who's good at keeping secrets. It's obvious who it's about. It's just for the tutors that look at my application. No one else is ever going to see it. My lips are sealed. There's Chesney wrong. Why did I let him go all the way to Bolton for them? I chairs, he could be gone hours. It's all right, sweetheart. You're going to be all right. Just so you know. A couple I looked after with quintuplets, we got their christening on the cover of Chit Chat magazine. They got paid 10K. Can you stop muslin in? What's happening to Gemma is incredible. It's a miracle. You need to cash in. The babies haven't been born. They might not all survive. Well, someone will still want that story. I could get a bidding war going. Go away. Just go. Go on, go. Oh. Just shove off. I'll go and get a coffee. Is everything OK? I'm pregnant with quads. I'm booked in for a cesarean in four weeks, but something's not right. I've got twinges and I'm bleeding. Right, well, let's get you checked out. I'm scared, Mum. It's all right. It's all right, chicken. Come on. Yeah, 
Yeah, she's good. Oh, you just nicked back for us, though. No, I've been to Bolton to get some high chairs. Why? What's bull she in? What? Gemma, she thinks she's gone into labour. When? About half an hour ago. She thinks the babies are coming early. Already? <laughs> oh, my phone battery's dead as well. I better go. Oh. I can't believe it's happening, thanks to you. Thanks to me? Yeah. If you'd not pushed us together, I wouldn't be about to be a dad to quads, would I? Oh, come here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you will be a great dad. You already are. Thank you. Go on. Right. I'll see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Update. Go on. They've kept him in the medical wing. It's for his own safety. The frightened says they'll get him again and they'll have a dead body on their hands. Yeah, well, I better not come anywhere near me. You do know him, don't you? I've asked around and he's definitely one of a man for rape. He drugged someone and then attacked him. Is that what he did? To your girlfriend? No, it's what he did to me. Where's Gemma? She's gone to the bog. What's happened? Oh, you okay? Yeah. They've checked me over. We're all fine. I thought you'd gone into labour. Well, they had twinges. And I was spotting blood. I thought I was going to lose one of them. I'm sorry. I should have been here. It's all right. Said they don't know what caused it. Only they reckon it could be stress. What with all the money worries and the story in the paper. Said I've got to take it easy now until the birth. And if it happens again, I need to come straight back. I was proper scared, Chess. Oh, you must be Chesney, the daddy. Yeah. Rosa Vale. I could help you make a lot of money. I spent weeks befriending me, right? Gaining my trust. And then uh, we go out for a few drinks, we're on the lash. You slip something into my drink and. I woke up the next day in his bed. Mate. Hey, two months before I could even admit it to anyone. I was just too ashamed. I split up from my girlfriend. I found out he'd done it before to someone else. I mean, it wasn't even charged. There was not enough evidence. I was suicidal. And then this bloke. He worked out what, you know, Josh was planning to do to him. He beat him up so badly, he went blind. Didn't stop him now, did it? Just Got his eyesight back and carried on. It's disgusting. Just does it over and over and over. He should pay. Do you know how many rape cases end in prosecution? Hardly any. It's the same with my sister. I couldn't prove anything because she didn't tell anyone until it was too late. Yeah. You look pathetic as ever when I saw him. Scumbag, man. I tell you, if I ever got him on my own, he'd have a lot more than a fat lip and a broken rib, that's for sure. Oh, a bit early for a Christmas outfit, isn't it? And don't tell Jenny I'll let you bring a dog in. I was worried they might see me carrying her aboard the surprise. Is Daniel not in on the secret? No, I'll be a surprise for him too. Doesn't she look cute? Everyone loved it when she wore it last year. Oh, so this is why you want us all to take a day off tomorrow. So we can do Christmas early. Well, it was a bit of a washout last year. Yeah, we know. Don't you think it's going to be too much for her? Well, we can keep it low key. I mean, she's not going to be here for actual Christmas. Be nice for Betty, unwrapping presents. You think you can do that? Uh, no, but we could help him. Oh, that'll be the delivery man about my special package. Oh. Is that a Christmas jumper on that dog? He's early. I'm sure she'll come around. Good, because her days of lording it over me are numbered. I don't want any bad blood. No, I just mean, you know, 
when I'm officially a partner, she can't boss me about. Does she now? And she tries, but together we can form a coalition. Overruler. Now, this isn't the town hall. I'm sure we can all rub along nicely. Yeah, I just, but isn't it mad? The customers can't enjoy a beer with their curry. Alia likes the fact that we don't serve alcohol. No, I like a drink. You most certainly like a drink. You've got to give people a choice. I need to be somewhere in a bit. So we're doing this or what? It's your maids again? Yeah, we'll make it really special. Do you think she'd be all right with the dog? Yeah. Right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Have we got a volunteer to cook the turkey? Well, hang on a minute. Don't you think this is just going to remind her of what she's going to miss? No, because Christmas is a special time. A time when miracles happen. If we can make Sinead believe in miracles just for one day, then it's worth doing, surely. So, can I have a volunteer for the turkey? Oh, go on, then. I'll get a turkey and bung it in the oven. <laughs> All the trimmings as well. Don't push it. Ah, Sinead deserves the best. Well, I might do some of them sausages wrapped in bacon. Mm. Who is this person? What's your dumb with this? <laughs> we need to do a nut roast for Grandad, too. Oh, no, we're not eating that again. Do you remember last year we couldn't eat it? We ate it in the loo with our ham. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well do the full works. Fine. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. She's going to love it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have Christmas. So we sign up with this woman. She gets to put the quads in magazines and that. And we get paid. Well, yeah. We need someone to fight our corner and stop them printing lies about us. Besides them eye chairs and all this, it could be the tip of the iceberg. We could make a fortune. I just don't want people thinking that we're cashing in on our babies too much. It's for our babies. Maybe we could give this woman a go. Right, I've no further comment. Goodbye. Right, that was the Weatherfield Gazette. Apparently, the press have got photos of you with your arms round another woman whilst Gemma was in hospital. They want to know if Dad of the Quads is a love rat. I haven't been near any other women. We aren't even together. They mean Emma. i have given her an hug before I came to the hospital. Oh, so I'm a laughing stock again. This is so embarrassing. I hope you haven't damaged the brand. The brand? Well, that's what they call the Beckhams and the Kardashians, and they're just families. Maybe you could give Rosa a ring and get her to deal with it. Well, I could do your publicity for you, you know, deal with the low lives. I'd charge loads less. And what do you reckon? What does this Muppet know about publicity? Well, I think it's a terrible idea. Yeah, but Mum was great today. She probably supported me. I don't think I could have got through it without her. Look. I know I've not been the best mum in the world. I've caused you nothing but stress since I got here. And I'm sorry I've been selfish, but from now on, I'm going to be there for you and the babies. Are you serious, then, about doing this publicity? Oh, yeah. I'm brimming with ideas. <laughs> All right, I'll ring Rosa and tell her we don't need her. Really? Yeah. You're hired. Oh, she done, buddy. Cheers. Oi. Maybe you can get that scum quicker than you thought. What are you talking about? There's going to be a riot tomorrow. Look, I don't want any part of it, mate. Now, listen, you can get away with all sorts when there's a riot, especially if you get your hands on a weapon of some kind. You having a laugh? They'll notice. Leave it with me. Hold on. You said if you got him on your own, you'd kill him, right? Now's your chance. Charlie, out.
Well, I was glued to it last weekend and can't wait for tomorrow night when the auditions continue on The X Factor Celebrity here on ITV at 8.30. And then on Sunday night, Jeremy Clarkson's back asking the questions in the series finale of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire at 8 o'clock. More drama on the way next tonight, though, with Vera.